Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Enclave for this campaign. Now, I've already played the Enclave like probably six times already on this channel, but you can never go wrong with trying to restore a democratic America as the Enclave. But, so if you like to read these, actually I can read this one. Years ago we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived can be still felt today. Um, but yeah, back to playing as the Enclave because... Who doesn't love playing as the Enclave? The Enclave is a lot of fun to play as. Can be a little difficult, difficult or challenging at times, but can be quite fun. And the Lair of the Beast. If you like to about that, please go ahead. We just have to make sure that we kind of keep hiding from the bear, which is alright, you know. Just gotta keep hiding from him, so pretty much. Cool. And our escape. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived can still be felt today. We fought our way out with power armor. Which probably wouldn't be too bad, because we do need a lot of divisions when we invade uh, the NCR. Deserted before the fighting got bad. I like that one, because we could really use that manpower. I really like the vertebrates, but I usually don't choose that one, so... Uh, you know what? I don't think I ever usually choose this one. Let's do this one. Why not? I usually I don't think I usually choose this one. So, you guys are... Actually, 20 combo width already. Nice. And you guys are 12 and a half, so... Interesting. Interesting. Cool. Our choice. Sergeant Dornan is well respected by both the Reformer and purest factions within the Enclave. The Enclave needs a president, however, and the Sarge expressed disinterest in being called a sir for the rest of his career. He works for a living, gosh darn it. Also, I do remember like, asking you guys, or, um, or letting you guys remind me that uh, like I'm supposed to go down a certain wave, especially for the characteristic or personality traits of basically who we're going to go for, is which who is, will be Granite. So, I don't exactly remember which way I wanted to go, but... It is what it is, and we have to continue hiding. Our president, Sergeant Dornan, is well respected by both the Reformer and Purist faction within the Enclave. Nonetheless, neither see him as a viable president and have presented their own candidates. The Purists have selected Franklin Anderson as a candidate, while the Reformers are led by Douglas Granite. It appears the Purists have the advantage, but the support of the Sarge could still tip the scales in favor of the Reformers. And I will go back again and play as Sergeant... not Sergeant Dornan. Franklin Anderson someday, but for now, the Granite way forward. Very cool. <coughs> Followed up with our Presidente. We have made our choice, and that choice will change the future of the Enclave, and if we are successful, America. But who really is a man we elected? And this is probably going to come back and bite me in the butt. But unfortunately, oh, actually, we can get some more divisions. Um, honestly, that's cool and all. Enclave PA Infantry. Uh, I'm not sure if converting these guys, everyone in this division is good. These divisions might get eliminated someday, but, you know, I'll take the rest. I'm going to risk it. Uh, actually, not yet, just because we don't have any... Well, we have nothing, literally nothing here. So after this one, we have to choose Encounter the Crimson Caravan. One of our patrols stumbled upon an expedition of the Crimson Caravan. The squad leader less trigger happy than some, has reported back requesting orders on how to proceed. The caravan is not close enough to confirm that they are faced with Enclave power armor specifically, but rumors of suspicious specific, suspicious or sus patrols in Nevada, desert, could reach the NCR nonetheless. No witnesses. Leave them be. No witnesses. Reform. If we were to rebuild our once great nation, we must reform ourselves in a principle, sadly. Many of the reformist elements have already deserted in the last few years, leaving mostly the devoted and fanatical. We will have to tread carefully in our efforts to reform the Enclave into an organization fit to restore order, justice, and democracy to these United States. Or the USA. Um, hopefully, when we take out the NCR, hopefully I can do it if I remember how I did it last time, in which uh, I just paradopped on all their victory points and we killed them off immediately. That was actually a lot of fun. I want to try that again, but sins of the father. Granite's past is a controversial subject in our, mind, in our midst, made all the more contentious by rumors of spread by purists. The cause of Granite's grandfather and his relationship to the Chosen One. The purists accuse Granite's father of treason for aiding the Chosen One in destroying the oil rig but lack any evidence. Despite the fact that he will deny these allegations as nothing but political slander, Douglas remembers clearly what his father told him about that fateful day on the oil rig. He sided with the Chosen One and went the separate ways. Uh, he didn't aid the Chosen One. Speaking of the Chosen One, let me tell you who your mother was. Mutant sympathies Um, I think I would go with mutant sympathies. Hmm. So for this one, I remember I already played in 2021, I think. Uh, I went down an absolutely ruthless path and went to segregation. Now, as much as we love segregation here, I probably won't go that way. I'll probably go expand the definition of human. So we'll probably aid him, probably. I'll go with that one. Douglas Youth. After traveling around with his son for a brief few years, Granite Senior established contact with one of the Enclave's civilian vaults, set up as a contingency to repopulate the American mainland after the Enclave government cleansed, cleansed it. Since President Mitch, Mr. Dick Richard had lifted child-rearing restrictions, the vault's population had exploded, naturally. Nonetheless, it was a safer place for the child than the wasteland, thus Douglas once spent most of his youth in the safety of a vault. Like most children in the Enclave's vaults, Granite was raised with a fervent hatred of that good old communism. Sadly, 200 years of Enclave propaganda and living in a vault run under command economy 
evident that he and most other members of the Enclave were left with a vague understanding of what communism was. As such, Granite knew all enemies of America must be communists. Spend his history class playing on his Pip-Boy. Uh, hatred of communism. Well, future role. Oh, I kind of want to do that one still. Anti-communist. Hmm. I think I'll go with this one later on next time. When we reform Nevada or do the... Well, purists. I guess we won't get purists. When we do um, Nevada, so... They're all commies. Douglas' first contact. When he was 17, the population of the Enclave Vault reached the utter limits of its last support systems. As a result, a large portion of the healthy and strong were ordered to leave the, the safety of the Vault to establish contact with the largest group of Enclave remnants led by an old Navarro drill sergeant, Douglas Harbor, was quick to contact with his father's granite company. Instead, slipping away from the rest unseen, his father welcomed him back, giving him a position within the company, where he quickly rose to the ranks. When Douglas was lieutenant of the granite defense company, he received an emergency distress signal. The message sounded desperate and came from... That's an awesome picture. That's so awesome. NCR Battalion Fighting Raiders, Kaizaz Scouts Seeking New Lands, and the Brotherhood Knights containing a pre-war threat. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I chose this one. I It's been a while since I played Old World Blues at the time of this recording. So, really, for me, the Legion seems a little weak, because Lanius does... Well, ever since he got a, a, an updated focus tree, he's been a little iffy, at least in my mind. Yeah, he's been a little iffy, so... um, I really don't like the NCR. I really don't. Brotherhood Knights. A pre-war threat. I want to do Brotherhood or NCR. The Brother's going to die eventually, so let's do Brotherhood Knights. When Douglas arrived with his team, the situation of the defenders had grown more dire. Their battered defenses crumbling quickly under a determined but almost equally bloodied Raider group. Looking over the sad state of both parties, Douglas decided to wipe them out lest they reveal the Uncle's survival. Oh, we did go ruthless here. I really like that one. Help take down the Raiders. I really like that one just because... You, you just kill people. But anyway, so take on the Raiders? Yeah, we'll go this one. Friends of the Brotherhood? More research speed? That's not bad. Douglas Grant. Maybe we should have done the, um... Kaiser's Legion. But to help take down the Raiders, we'll go Charismatic this time. So he's got... A mutant Sympathizer, Charismatic, and Anti-Communist. Followers of the Apocalypse? That really would make sense why we would have them here, so goodbye. So to do this, we gotta make sure we raid their supplies, seize a fort, and divert everything here at the same time. Oh, wait, um... Oh, we gotta do at least both of these at the same time. Oh, wait! Oh! Ooh. Oh, we can improve our relations. Okay, that, that should be okay if we do both of these, right? Um... Threats and bribes? Is that good? I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I'll be honest. I don't really remember. Every time I play the Enclave, I just do not remember exactly what I need to do. And, uh... Huh, that's not very good. Stability, get more political power, lose weekly stability, lose research speed, get more weekly war support. That's not bad. I can wait on that. Followers are established. Get the heck out of here, you pieces of garbage. We don't want to placate them, no. Like a uh, legitimacy tutorial. That's going to bite us in the bucket but eventually. The Enclave will tell them what to think. Um, We have 0%, so we can get 5% now. Or get more political power. I want the political power. We're going to need that. Um, There's nothing else we can do with these guys, so... Yeah. I'm sorry, it just, it's been so long since I've done this. The presidential victory speech. With electoral victory snatched from the jaws of defeat, it's time to speak to our supporters and opponents alike about our vision of the Enclave's future. So, because we definitely got to get more pure support, but we got to lower the... Ref, well, pure support completely. Change popular technocracy, which is the reformers and intellectuals, so... Um, that's not really great. Wild promises. That reminds me of Speer's one in TNO. Vast political promises or something like that, so. But I'm going to actually be... Oh, we can do that one. But I'm going to come over here first and get rid of this. I think I might actually go this way first. It hurts our organization, recruitable population factor, but... Because that'll just give us quite a bit more uh, PP to work with. And we won't get constantly plus point two every single day, which is not very good. But out of this one, we will do... Reach out to centrists. I have to compromise... Justification for a crackdown. Provoke the peers. I kind of don't want to do that one. I don't... Like I said before, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't really don't remember. Every time I play the Enclave, like I said, it's just... There's so much time that passes in between that I just... My mind does not remember anything. Ooh, reach out to centrists. We have to compromise to the candidates. We could probably do that one. Uh, Traitor among scientists. If you want to read about both these, please go right ahead. This happens every time he plays the Enclave. Treacherous officers, which sucks. And Traitor among scientists. We'll deal with them later. So be up. Cafeteria incidents. A disturbing photograph has been circulating amongst cafeteria staff, involving one of the staff members intentionally handling ingredients appropriately. Punish them? We have more important matters to attend to. Yeah, get the peepee. -pee. There are many still among us who have not chosen sides in this conflict. We could reach out to these centrists and the least radical purists to expand our power base. 
But this will invariably mean making promises that might compromise our own vision of the Enclave's future. Hmm, is that... I think I was, like, doing the crackdown more. But I'm probably going to regret doing that one, but whatever. The peers outnumber us. Well, actually, right now, because of this, intellectuals... Oh, they're still going up, huh? That's still going up, too, so a point... There you go, that's not too bad. Presidential victory speech, very nice. Probably a really bad idea. I'd love to provoke the purists. Alright. And we can go over here, or over here, that's better, but whatever. Um, just Whoever gives us more... Um, What is this? Vehicle designer. Quality? Quantity. Yeah, cool. Arch Dolan. I love that guy. More daily intellectual support, even though we lose more support, which I don't really care about. More political power would be actually really nice. I don't think I've ever gone with him. Ooh, this is not too bad to get either first. I like this one, but... Hmm, 20% chance cost. 15%. That could get you roughly about to one-ish, maybe? He's an interventionist, huh? Uh, just give us whoever gets more um intellectual support. Oh, wow, 15% is pretty good attack. This one's not... You lose attack. Incompetent general. This seems like someone I would never choose, so I'm really inclined to choose him. I think I usually choose Boris T. Elite support, huh? Um, actually, I always choose him because you always get to remove him later on. Ooh, I want to do something I normally don't do. Daniel Shaky. I remember last time I said Daniel Shaky, D-Shaky? That it was actually D-Shaky who commented on the video. You know, Mr. D-Shaky. Uh, you know what, screw it. Was that here or was that here? No, it wasn't here. My apologies. I am so screwed up right now. Where was he? Let's go. I'm gonna go with this guy. I never choose this guy, so I want something different. There you go. That's better. They're slowly going to be coming down. Coming down at the cost of us. Kind of hurting stuff. There you go. Do that too. Cool. Reach out to Centris, which is probably a bad idea. But the city of crime. Reno, a wretched hive of scum and villainy, offers both a secure base of operations on the margins of the NCR and the chance to show the world the benefits of Enclave rule. Very good. Wait. Are they still establishing themselves? Were we supposed to choose this one too? Well, that sucks. Promotion. Recently, commander positions opened up. There are two available candidates eligible for promotion. An older, experienced Navarro veteran and a younger, outspoken reformer. There you go. Secret stolen. Last night, a small group of traitors made off with a vertebrate and almost all of our old military codes. The communication suggests that they were opportunists who saw a better future in selling the codes and whenever the Enclave is headed. Oh, where are the supplies? Yes, please. Regardless of their intentions, this betrayal is a severe blow. Many old military bases, including the heavily fortified lower levels of the Sierra Army Depot, are now forgotten. Uh, oh, lost to us. Blame the purists. We can crack on down to them. We don't need them. Hmm. I do like the crackdown, but honestly, at this point, we're going to be doing it really well anyways. We don't need them. We'll do it too. Screw it. We'll do it too. Why not? We'll get that done before then. They shouldn't be established here, right? They shouldn't be. Yeah. I'm mean, Justifications for a crackdown. I'm not going to be going down, 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 down. And this is going to keep going up, 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 which is going to be very nice. Burns manuals. We've got some secret language. At this point, like, it's always good to go just cut them off here-ish, around the stables, so that's good. Root out of City of Crime, anything on the right side? The question's about the NCR. Ooh, I'll choose the NCR. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, it appears the purists have been spreading the rumor that we're looking into compromise with the NCR. Some have even dared suggest we surrender our, to our old and hated nemesis. Purists, moderates, and even many reformers have absolutely no intention of letting bygones be bygones. Thus, the question is posed during a conference what to do with the NCR. We have no intentions of compromising with them. You promised not to make peace with the NCR. Dodge a question. Oh, uh, yeah. Question about muties. While we have made much progress in introducing the idea of outsiders as something else in target practice, many are still unsure about our intentions toward the mutants. Rumors have ranged from possible integration of wastelanders into our ranks to ridiculous suggestions of a forced intermarriage between pure and unpure humans. That would be unacceptable. It appears that there are many doubting purists and moderates who would be much more at ease after the promise of a peaceful but separated existence, provided the mutants know who is in charge. And so the question was posed, what about the mutants? What about them? Will we know integration? As much as I would love that one. I'd rather get hit. Questions about ghouls. Some have raised the question of whether we should integrate ghouls into the Enclave, on the one hand. Many of the ghouls we come across are feral monsters, but it's been pointed out that some of them know or knew pre-war America, and perversely are more American than many Wastelanders. There'll be no integration with ghouls? Let me explain the difference between feral and... I don't care. While not as hate as the NCR, the Brotherhood of Steel plays a major role in the destruction of Navarro, and the loss of many of our comrades, brothers, and fathers. It was inevitable that a voice in the room would be raised about what we mean to do with the power-armored Boy Scouts occupying so many of our military bases using stolen government property. We would never ally with them. You promised to not to fight alongside the Brotherhood of Steel. Dodge a question. The brother could be pitted against the NCR. I'll do that one. 
Um, you promised to fight along. Promised to not fight along. I'm not gonna fight along that side then. Then, uh, which which does kind of bring up over here, Lucia incident, fake radio broadcast, or we'll get the bishop incident. Which I, if we do this one, which I do want to do, um, we'll have to do the bishop incident where the desert rangers do fight them instead of the brotherhood. This is unhistorical. I didn't tell you yet, but this is unhistorical. So the NCR is going to be fighting the brotherhood anyway. So, of course, we never fight alongside them. Of course not. Crazy people. All right. What else can we do? 33%. Um, to get through this more quickly, we do need to infiltrate the NCR, but that can wait for now. Oh, we can consolidate power immediately. Cool. While we are getting the upper hand, the purists are alive and well. It is time to gather all those who disagree with our vision in one room so we may address them and the qualms. Many can still be swayed to our side, and the followers have been rejected. Having worked out what well, uh, we have been successive attempts to undermine their influence and steal their supplies, the followers of the apocalypse have finally grown tired of our antics and left our lands. Whilst they are still happy to tend to our civilians and bases set up around the border, they refuse to step inside our nation in protest. We say, good riddance. The anarchists kind of have no business here except attempting to overthrow us. Our people are somewhat annoyed at our choice of action, but... At least I'll no longer be swayed by follower propaganda. We did well. Very, very well. If this fight breaks out, a heated argument turned violent in the general staff cafeteria today. Unsurprisingly, the topic of the argument was the recent elections. Though many claim that he was provoked, none denied that the person supporting the reformer threw the first punch. Punch, punch. This normally insignificant issue is gathering a lot of attention, and we've been asked to intervene. An ungrateful position to be in since defending the aggressor would reflect badly on us, but condemning him would come across as a stab in the back to the most zealous reformers. The peers started coming. There's no excuse for striking a fellow officer. Both share the blame. Uh, what percentage are we at? 52%. Uh, they had it coming. I don't care. They had it coming, you pieces of garbage. So, we have Enclave members. Ooh. Stability loss is based on popularity of elites. That's fine. Uh, I like Fools and Dreamers, but we'll eventually get there. We'll probably have to go here first anyways. You get 3% more population, which would be super, super important. Metro High Command. Um... That's not too bad, actually. Getting more daily army XP would probably be really good. I'm going to grab that one first. Because I forget, we got to get spend some more PP on a lot of stuff here first. Or on some more crackdown. We're, we're doing really well already, so I'm not really worried about it. Don't we need like 80 or 90% um, stuff over here? Purge of scientists. Less than 30% support for the purists. And demoted by decisions. So we need political power for the decisions. Construction basics are nice. Yeah, nice, nice. Get some improvised tools. Grab some more construction speed. And I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Also, the mods we're using for this one are Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio. Um, I'm actually using a special sub mod called Old World Blues Enclave Reborn More Leaders Portraits mod. Stay attention to mod as well as player of the Beast Conferences, but Major General Grimm speaks out in favor of Anderson. During a heated argument in the officer's mess hall today, Major General Grimm has spoken loudly out in support of Franklin Anderson and his ideas about the Enclave's future. A few choice words were aimed at both the mutants of the NCR and our president, Douglas Granite. While the officer in question may be a capable leader in the field, we should denote the opinions of the commanders we appoint to lead. What they say in the mess hall and over the radio will always affect their loyal soldiers. Demote him for unrelated reasons. He is entitled to his opinions. Speak to him personally. Douglas always had a way with words. This wouldn't be the first purest Harlan he brought to his side. Loses it. Becomes a performer. Unconvinced. Mm, we're 53%, right? 53. We lose 2%. Bye-bye. Get out of here. Remnants wish to return. We've been contacted by the leader of a sizable company of Enclave Remnants. They survived the decades as raiders greatly feared due to their advanced tactics and technology. Having heard rumors of the return of the Enclave, they're asked to be, asking to be reinstated into their armed forces. While the extra manpower could be very useful, their disdain for mutant rivals that of Anderson and his ilk. We must therefore consider the political consequences of accepting them into our ranks. The prodigal sons have returned. Enclave, no Enclave here. The remnants are sent away, no doubt, working out their frustration on any submit they come across. Yeah, because the other one, they can cause a lot of problems for you, and we don't want more problems right now. So, yeah, that's why. A city of crime. Consolidate power. And just because we can go to war doesn't mean we need to go to war just yet. Uh, how long will this last? 30 days? 19 days? Old allies? Shared dream? These guys always give you some new stuff to do. Uh, I guess we can go to war immediately. Even though, actually... Oh, we have 30 days. Just go to war. It's fine. You'll do fine. Actually, do we have any planes? I don't think we have an airbase yet. No, we don't. That's fine. Oh, new Reno. Follow new Reno. And there we go. Now I've got some oh, other matters to deal with. Sometimes, I, well, I think we do like to take out Vault City as well sometime. Oh, yes, gliders would be nice. But, grab some of that, and then grab some of that, and then grab some gliders for now until we get some transports, because we will need quite a few transports and gunships. 
And the new capital, we need to do this stuff as fast as possible. Going cold turkey. The Mordinos are parasites, selling drugs and other vices to the riffraff of the wastes. Absolutely. Alright, that's stuff all looking good. Organized agriculture, thank you very much. Which actually helps us out quite a bit by getting more um, manpower, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's great. I love it. And the federal budget. When the conquest of New Reno, the Enclave must now deal with something something it has put out for two centuries, the federal budget. When the Enclave rules, ruled a series of vaults, an oil rig, and redacted, the Enclave relied on a command economy. But now that it rules a substantial population of wastelanders, it needs to tax them and spend money. For it seems that our wastelander soldiers want a salary and our veterans want more than just jaunty propaganda tunes. Nothing is certain in life but death and taxes. Ooh. Thrad defects the troll warren. Oh, Warren. Warren, yeah. The Enclave's liberation of New Reno has chased much, much of the city's riffraff to the ends of the earth. Among those who fled is Thrad the Immortal, one of the Master's greatest warriors. He is defected to the Troll Warren, where his rapidly risen and first ranks ranks. These reinforcements will give the Troll Warren a powerful tool against the Washington Brotherhood, who has already overextended oppressing his neighbors. Well, it seems like a Brotherhood problem, and Sh Jack Shadow Churchill speaks out in favor of Anderson. So, basically, like the last one, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like Douglas Grant, he's in touch with his opinions. Speak to him personally. Um, give us five days. I'll get this one done first. And then maybe we'll go big or go home. Alright, let's see what happens. Consolidate power. Tensions have been high since the elections. It appears support for the peers has only intensified as a result, especially in the upper echelons of our government. To address the situation, we've collected all those th with those grievances towards the new U.S. government into one room, awaiting answers from the new president. Somebody hand me my speech. My fellow Americans. I like that one. And, you know what, because we got that one done, and we still needed to get this stuff done, patrolling New Reno, let's go do Going Cold Turkey. For the first time in Enclave's history, we've reclaimed an American city, however. New Reno's population does not yet see it this way. While some are hopeful that the gangsters are being pushed out, others fear and distrust of power-armored strangers patrolling their streets. No, nothing here to worry about, everyone. Minor acts of resistance, such as thrown rocks or insults, are not uncommon and unsavory in types to test the limits of our troops' patience. Every period of week, small arms fire may follow. Teach them not to mess with the Enclave. Those that keep their heads down keep their heads, the others not so much. Not bad. Establish strict rules of engagement. Return fire only, an unpopular move, but do we want to be the power armored monsters responding with plasma rifles? Plasma fire to kids throwing rocks? Yes! Um, I don't want to do that one yet. I don't want to hurt our war support. So, even though we have no, like, legitimacy now, it's not really hurting us. It'd be nice to get 5%, but we get less resistance target. And it gets more war support anyways right now, so... Uh, we're gonna go bigger, but go home. This one, sixty-one percent. Come on, placated, expecting some sort of repose for his recent comments. Shadow Jack Churchill was surprised to be invited to the president's personal bunker suite for dinner instead. After a lengthy conversation over a roast of Deathclaw and Scotch, it appears that the dude has relented somewhat in his previous convictions. While Douglas may not have been made a staunch reformer out of the commander, it appears this may be the end of any such uppers. It'll have to do. Go big or go home, right? Yes, absolutely. We gotta demote these people, but we can't do that yet because we need. More stability, okay. We actually need quite a bit more stability. Um, improve working conditions, deal with the Van Graaffs. Make deals with them. Deal with them. Ooh, I don't mind deal dealing with them seems more like the ruthless Enclave Reborn route. I want to go with more democratic, make a deal with them. I like that one. But we need more stability. Reduce shifts. I don't want to do this one, but I want that one. Make a deal with them. There you go. We have the PP4 now, so. Lord of the West, we're considered a major power now. Great. Followed up with Checkmate. The bishops plotted to bring New Reno into the NCR. That was a mistake. And we'll get a trade node, which we might be able to use, might not be able to use, as well as quarterly income report, which I don't think we get any money, do we? We do get some money. Oh, it's the uncle. That's going to be weird. It's all right. I don't really care about it too much. Ah, dealing with the Mordinos. The Mordinos long represented the status quo of New Reno. That is to say, criminality, exploitation, chems, and misery. They have many allies, but no friends, and few are now willing to lay down their lives in defense of the chem lords. We may strike quickly and expect only limited resistance, but some have suggested that we should use Mordinos to demonstrate we are serious about our old world values. They will be tried in a court of law. The Enclave government sets up a tribunal and bring the Mordinos to trial. Hardly a full-blown justice system, but it's a start. Justice is long overdue. I like that one. They're hunted down and executed by Enclave troops. A clear display of power to all those in New Reno. I like that one a whole lot. But we gotta go this way. I like legitimacy, too. Uh, unreasonable demand. Don't bother us with that garbage right now. Oh, we're of... Ooh, no occupation. Economic precision, so that's nice. Well, we're now making some good money. Go figure. I'll oh, probably have to hide ourselves. We can bribe them, too, which is not too bad. Not too bad. 23%, not great, but then a shared dream. The rights dream of a peaceful, prosperous city. Maybe they can collaborate with us towards a better tomorrow. Today! 
The bishops may have been the most powerful family in New Reno, Mr. Bishop himself is a dangerous man for many reasons, one of which are his numeral, numerous political connections to the N in the NCR. The crime lord's gangsters were loyal enough to face down the other families, but the sight of X-01 power armor sent them scattered. He was retreated to his mansion, accompanied by only his closest and most loyal, surrounded by our forces and trapped. Focusing on capturing the assets, focus on apprehending the leader. Mmm, that's pretty nice. So what's better right now? Political power and less resistance target. Or really just, in the end, it all you get is political power. Or do we get 200 caps that we can later spend at buying time until we have to invade the NCR? And get three civvies. Political power or civvies and money. Let's go civvies and money. Because we've already dealt with them, right? They reduce construction shifts. Nuclear war support goes up. Uh, that's not, that's actually, that's not too bad, really. Anderson holds a speech, despite his near defeat in the recent elections. Anderson has been working tirelessly to arouse his supporters against a new administration. Though he carefully chooses his words to avoid anything openly treasonous, mostly the only real reason he's alive and allowed to speak is that his numerous supporters may be driven to open revolt otherwise. A man must know when he's beaten. Make sure he's not broadcast at least. Um, honestly, if he gets 10% more, that's all 40%. That really doesn't mean too much to us right now, so... Um, because we need more political power anyways, and I don't want to lose any more political power right now. Like less than 30% for the purest faction, which we do need to get rid of eventually. We don't have enough uh, stability to do that, so actually we got time for that one. Old allies. Bishop escapes to the NCR. It appears that Mr. Bishop has slipped through our fingers, boarding a secret vertebrate for the NCR. His location is currently unclear. We must consider the possibility that he may attempt to pull strings in the NCR to turn the bear's attention to us as a means of getting revenge. They won't believe him. Uh, that's fine. Let's assassinate him. We didn't want it like this, but he forced our hand. We'll save this one for later, because sometimes the cost just gets up too high. Uh, and let's, I don't care about that stuff. Where is Bishop? So now we need... Oh, uh, well, we can do that one, I guess, next. Organized agriculture, very good. Oh, actually, it's a little bit ahead of time. Gliders, motorized flight, I guess we might as well. All right, so we need to assassinate him. But we need spies. And to do spies, we need to complete the focus, infiltrate the NCR. So we'll wait for old allies first. Um... Actually, you know what? We can wait. We can still wait a little bit. We'll be okay. We'll still be okay. 39%, which is still going to go down really fast. We're already at 51% for us, so dealing with the rights. Some say that the right family spent the last few decades building with one hand and destroying with the other, but compared to the other families, this makes them almost redeemable. Mr. Wright's vision of a more peaceful and stable new Reno is not entirely incompatible with our own. I'm going to go legit. There's no place for this kind here. I like that one more, but let's let him go legit for now. That's fine. And so, this one's still going down by, what, 0 0.01 every day? That's not very much. Oh, it's not going down anymore. Well, that's not good. This one's still going up, though. That's really good. So, who else is here? We need to get rid of this one. Well, we can't. Okay. Um... Well, it looks like we would need to get a little bit more stuff then. But we need spies. And we'll infiltrate the NCR next. Spinner people for this for now. It's fine. Dealing with the Salvatores. The Salvatores has been useful to the Enclave in the past, dealing with us in order to expand their own influence in New Reno. Perhaps they can be useful once again. A puppet ruling New Reno in her name could help make the situation in the city less suspicious to any outside observers. Mr. The, Mr. Salvatores, old smuggling connections may also prove a valuable resource to us should we decide to keep him alive. He can rule as a puppet. Uh, lose legitimacy. We rule New Reno now. He can live under house arrest. We rule. New capital. We've broken the backs of the scum that run New Reno. Look how much happier everyone is with the Enclave soldiers to patrol in the streets. No one complains, not even in private. Because I do want the cords as fast as possible first. So, um, If that's the case, I do want to get some more support for us. Because this is not going down at all. So, um, Where is anybody here? Oh, y John Yeager. Oh, okay. Oh, that's because you, got, you showed up. Unpopular pragmatist? Meh. Oh, Boris T. I mean, I guess we could do him eventually. Yeah, might as well. Screw it. Now, this is definitely going to go down. By quite a bit. Hopefully. That's nice. New capital. And then we'll come over here and do infiltrate the NCR. We can make contact with those in the NCR who want to restore pre-war America. Or pre-war America's glory. Currently 30. Minus 35. That's close enough. Doesn't matter to me. Cool. Warrior training? The Enclave needs warrior training? That's kind of a problem if we need warrior training, but whatever. Destruction of... Wait, what? Destruction of Ranger Citadel. Guys, I need you alive to do this. Okay, whew, they cut him off. Huh, that would have been really not good. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ah, oh, there's so many focuses here, I love it. Temple to the NCR, Enclave Radio probably next, we get more political power, which would be good. And call in favors, we could probably do that eventually. Infiltration is always a nice thing, the Wastelanders. With the city of New Reno now fully <clears throat> under our control, we are now governed our over a significant amount of Wastelanders. Since we cannot install Enclave members to every single position of influence in the city, some Wastelanders have begun exercising an amount of power within our borders. I suppose this was inevitable. Not on my watch, they don't. We should encourage this. So be it. New Reno Slaves. Oh, and actually that hurt our support quite a bit. But that does make this go down a bit as well, but whatever. New Reno Slaves. During the liberation of New Reno, we've come across a large portion of slaves triggering off a debate as to whether we should allow the practice of slavery in these United States. Although there are those who would say slavery is un-American, others point out that a captive workforce could be a boon to our economy and has historical precedent. As a compromise, we could adopt all cities' servitude system, providing food, protection, and medical care in exchange for involuntary servitude. But others say that seems like slavery with extra steps. Very cool. I love that one. I like that one pretty too. Pretty good too. If they wanted slavery, they would have elected Anderson. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And after this one, Enclave Radio. Our spies' radio beacons could be used to broadcast the Enclave's message to the Californians. Let sympathizers far and wide hear the Enclave's vision. While we are at it, those same beacons can also be used as listening posts. Oh, right, everyone. So I've already just finished off Old World Radio. Enclave Radio can broadcast songs to trade on nostalgia for a better, older America, ignoring our shortcomings as well, because I wanted the extra political power, but the music fought and found. During their efforts to clean up some of the smaller criminal organizations in New Reno, Enclave soldiers have stumbled on a treasure trove of pre-war studio tapes, or audio tapes. The vast majority of these tapes have survived and long hold long lost tunes of the old world, collected by wealthy crime lord over the course of decades. The propagandistic value of such a collection should not be underestimated, as very little music is available to those within the Enclave. Patriotic songs, old world song, nostalgia, release the tapes freely. Honestly, like, to do this one, we really need more stability right now. We're only 36%, so I kind of wanted to go get as much stability as possible. That's not bad, but it's only 5% stability. You only get 5%. I'd rather get the political power and stability, because reformers are fine for now. War sports okay. I'd rather get this one. It really tapes really. But up next, New World Hopes, Old World Blues, which I do like both. Old World Propaganda is also very nice, too. Mm. Old World Blues, New World Hopes. Is that... How did that affect us here? No, I feel like it does, though. I kind of want to go with New World Hopes. This is the New World. We're trying to restore Democratic America. Old World Blues. Um, New World Hopes. It's time to help people look forward to a better, brighter tomorrow today. I'm going to do that one just because we get more political power. Even more. Get more political power. And we're going to probably get rid of segregation. We've already sent spies over there. Reroute Crimson Caravans by stealing and replacing documents of the nearby Crimson Caravan outposts. We can prevent the caravans from running into any of our patrols. So let's go on first. Assassination. Mr. Bishop, once a, the top dog in Urino, died today after a safe house was attacked by a team of Enclave operators posing as henchmen. After they took over the city, Mr. Bishop spent his days attempting to bring the Enclave's return to light, always treating carefully to avoid his own identity and location from becoming public knowledge. In the end, this only delayed the inevitable. Excellent news. Mr. Bishop has gone bye-bye. Um, we could probably do that one immediately. I'm going to wait until that stuff is done. And actually, I'm going to reduce these shifts so we get some more stability immediately. Oh, well, I need that to one as well. Oh, well. Old World Propaganda would be bad. Uh, yeah, that'd probably be pretty good to do. Crack the code. We can do that one eventually as well. Let's go back to the left side, though. So we've got to wait to do this stuff. Um, but Enclave Police. Yeah, we need stability. New Reno didn't need police when it was run by warring crime families, but establishing the rule of law could go a long way towards giving the reunited states legitimacy in the wasteland. The Enclave can create a police force to be a model for America. Very good. There you go. Investments falling through. Cutter losses. Do we... Um, we have enough money. Look at that. Wow. Not bad. Warrior training. Not bad. Cool. Crowd control. Alright. And we're still hopefully going up. We've got political infighting too. Of course, it helps. I don't think we need any more stability as when we uh, remove these guys. Once we're pretty much secured, I think we'll pretty much be ready to go and just keep moving on. And I did take a, a decision there that hurts our legitimacy earlier, but... Oh well. Whatever. Ah, right, so here we go. Officers or scientists? Ooh, wow. Treasonous officers. Equipment capture ratio. Uh, we'll do this because it hurts us for 200 days, attack and organization. While the top brass is still out of our reach, we could carefully expand our influence by replacing the more outspoken peers and the lower officer ranks with their more loyal colleagues. And now we need more political power. Well, uh, we replace the more outspoken peers and our lower scientific ranks with their more loyal colleagues as well. So basically almost the same thing. Which is nice. 
Let's go extract spies because when they're out there, they can get found. So all we need is 100 uh, manpower. That's all we need. Not bad. Pretty good. After the enclave, please. We'll probably go out with the old just to, so we get more legitimacy. Because uh, I don't want to lose any more legitimacy. Prepare for expansion? We could, but purge the officers. The time has come to rid of ourselves of the most stubborn, purest elements within our officer corp. We cannot let such an essential part of the enclave be infested with traitors and saboteurs, demotions, banishments, or executions. One way or another, our officers will be loyal. So, Mar Lieutenant Mary Orwich dies. We lose a lot of stability. As based on the popularity of the elite faction, which actually makes more sense that we should uh, probably go and do some of this stuff and reduce the amount of purists that we have. So we could probably do that one here. Would that really be worth it? Exploration technology. Um, you know, we'll, we'll try that. We should be able to do that, right? Especially for the Enclave, so. Happy 2076, everyone. If that's a case, really. I don't want to get hurt too hard by this stuff, but we'll see. Minus 15%. It's a lot. New arena is safer than you expect uh, for a city with no police force, but that's because order is maintained by a gentleman's agreement between the families. We could incorporate many of their mobsters into our new police force, or get to start from scratch with police trained by Sergeant Dornan. Amnesty for service, which is weird. I always have found this weird. You can click on the left side here, and it goes to the right side. You click on the right side, you go to the left side. We have to do this one just to get more legitimacy, though. You'd have to be a moron to rely on New Reno's gangs. Oh, we lose a lot of stability anyways. Ooh, is that... Good. I think we'll be okay to do it anyways. You know what? Screw it. We've got to do this one first then. So now we can do this one. Because it doesn't matter about legitimacy then. Or stability, I mean. I get more political power back. Cool. The first brick. And actually, we'll probably do purge the scientists. The time has come to get rid of ourselves of the most stubborn, purest elements within our research divisions. We cannot let such an essential part of the enclave be infested with traitors and saboteurs. D demotions, banishments, or executions. One way or another, our scientists will, of course, be low. And I've already begun doing the special forces stuff here, because we're going to need more enclave divisions. And make sure our divisions are actually pretty good. How long is the Desert Rangers going to take to kill these guys off? My goodness. Ranger Citadel, you kind of suck right now. I need you to be big and strong. Hmm, anything else down here? Not really too much, really. No, not really, no. Save it for this stuff. Uh, also, we have refugees. We have assimilation. We are literally assimilating pe refugees who are coming to our country. As the Enclave, I don't really understand that too much, but I guess informing in America that we will really need... Yeah, I guess that makes a little bit of sense, but at this point, probably not too much, but whatever. It is fine. Save some PP. And the Divide. Very good, very good. We definitely gotta get to the civilian economy soon. Actually... Minus 25%, 25%. Is this 25% or 30? Oh, it's 35%. That's pretty bad, actually. Partial mobilization. To get back there? Yeah, we gotta go partial mobilization then. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lower tariffs? Nope. Don't even ask. Cool. Purge the scientists. 40% stability, but that's alright. Rapid deployment is very good. Very, very good. Uh, what else do we have here? Hold small speeches. We're at 65%, which is nice. Send out spies. Improve working conditions, get more stability. And to do this one, assassinate Dr. Anderson, we need less than 15% for the purest faction. Assassinating Dr. Anderson will crush the opposition towards our, into towards our tolerant, inclusive enclave. Whew, assassination of him. Ah, very good. We're very tolerant and inclusive, but that's why we got to assassinate him. 15% support. There's 17%, which is slowly going up, actually, huh? Well, that's not bueno. More technocracy, which doesn't mean that that'll get any better. Oligarchy goes down. The range of disappearance. Accidents happen all the time. More so to those openly opposed to our decisions, but no one can prove that. Which will do that one as soon as this one's done, pretty much. There you go. Actually, we can't do that yet. 15%. And they're still going up, right? Uh, actually, it's going down. We can do one more focus before we do that one. The first brick. With New Reno under, gover with New Reno under government better than drug-running gangsters, we can develop a city. Not really ideal, but it is what it is. If we don't have to spend PP, well, it's best to save our PP, right? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't remember. Cool. Hey, 16% is not terrible, though. Less political power, less compliance, less mobilization speed, resulting legitimacy strength. Relevance 100%. The first brick. Pre war designs. Oh, US Chemical Corps. Plasma weapon design team. You know, I never remember. I always leave this up to you guys. Should we do Atomic Energy Commission, which we will probably need? Tesla weapon design team, or should we do plasma weapon design team? Cost, actually these are exactly the same, plasma or weaponry. Tesla weapons or plasma weapons? Hmm. Exact same bonuses. Which does lead me to ask you always, what was it, this question as well. Quality PA, or 
quantity PA. Let me know. We're going to lose recruitable population factor. Should we be able to produce more or just have better armor, hardness, and, and breakthrough and stuff like that? Please let me know in the comments. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, old world propaganda? Might as well start doing this stuff, right? By reminding people that America once stretched from sea to glowing sea, we can encourage them to support the Enclave and its causes. Which we do want to get them less stability and more in daily intellectual support. Which is very nice. Hide activities? It's only 70. That's actually really good right now. If that's the case, actually, I wonder if we could pair drop straight onto these guys. I think I tried to do that last time, too. Alright, old world propaganda. Um, you guys, actually, come over here. And Thomas Rimi Rim. Uh, Rimi Rim. Let's go inspirational. And Pain Train. You. Inspirational. Pain Train. And you. Have nothing really special about you. Pain Train. I love the Enclave. Um, bum, 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 bum. We need some vertebrates. Hmm. Anti prop anti communist propaganda crack the code. And we still need some army XP for this stuff too. I don't I did remember that, so we need a hundred, which is quite a bit. Anti communist propaganda. Far too many Americans have forgotten that the Red Menace is responsible for America's state. We can use Enclave Radio to remind them that communism is a very definition of failure. Once we explain to them what communism really actually is, though, of course. Mm, we can actually jump all the way to partial mobilization, which might not be bad. We'll be going to war with these guys probably eventually, too. So, really not that bad. Resistors are nice. Grab some of this. Smoke signals. Infantry equipment is positive. Power armor is positive. We're enjoying it. We could train some more, maybe, but we'll see. Um, honestly, I'd rather just convert you guys over. Navarro veterans. You guys are all 12 and a half. Give me two of you guys. Can we convert you to this one? That's better. Cool. NCR radio. Our new California radio will play highbrow, subtly pro enclave pieces that are also criticized Shady Sands. But some within the enclave might get angry that we're spending time and resources to win hearts and minds instead of building more plasma guns. Oh, we get more oligarchy. Oh, that's not good. But now we can go and assassinate Dr. Anderson. So, so that's next after this one. Because we love political power. And actually, they're still going down, which is nice. And then we can get rid of some of these other people here, too. She looks pretty good for 500. America's 500th birthday is approaching, and some would say she's showing her age. The land is scoured by mutants and raiders, and the enclave, America's last great hope, is a shadow of its former self. But to grant it, this is just a cause to redouble his efforts. Americans, he declares on the radio, have never bowed to a despot and never will. Things may look bleak now, but America will survive for the next 500 years, and will be on that because the enclave will always fight for a better world. Americans will always fight for freedom. Nice. Petrochico? Anti-tank for the future, just in case, because my goodness. Uh, sometimes that really sucks. That really sucks sometimes. Oh, uh, we don't want to do that one yet. We want to wait till this, these guys are officially dead. As these, as well as these guys too, so. We could get more stability, but we're kind of okay for now. We're kind of okay. That's not bad to do. That's really not too bad. It was 100 political power, minus 20% for this guy. That's 40 political power already, and you can use it for everyone else here, so the causes of the Great War. As most Americans know, this world wasn't always a grim, dark land inhabited by raiders and death claws. As we reunite the nation, many are still wondering who caused the Great War. The president could blame the Chinese to put up support, but most intelligent Americans recognize we made mistakes too. When asked, the president said, We will never forget the Chinese, or forgive them. We will never repeat the mistakes of the past. Yes. Not bad, even though our I have a feeling that our legitimacy is going to go straight tanking down later on, so... I've got a good feeling about that. No, screw it. we got the PP for now. Politically connected, let's do that one. And that helps us with this, too. That's actually really good. We need more war support first, so. Actually, Special Forces expansion is very nice. Um, Hey, that one's done. Nice. 12% left. Bribe the officials. I want more war support. Construction speed, research speed. I don't care about that. There you go. Good, good, good. Got to think about the future. After we assassinate him, he'll be done and prepare expansion... Um, crack the code would be really good to do as well. The NCR may believe the rudimentary encryption is enough to secure the communications, but our new radio system makes cracking their codes child's play. Now we can impersonate even their highest level command structure at least once. But I might do a prepare expansion instead. Civilian infrastructure, uh, military, industrial. Hmm. With the arena secure, the rest of the northern Nevada lies open to us. The technology, Vault City, the manpower of the tribals, and then there are the Yakuza, or Yakuza, a threat to our flank. Which is fine. 
The good doctor has been a thorn in his side ever since his loss in the election. His connections and wits have kept him alive until now, but we've politically outmaneuvered him at last. This quickly, despite quickly running out of allies, Anderson has stayed put in this here army depot, stubbornly fulfilling his administrative duties. It was in his office that his supporters and our operators found him unprepared for the confrontation. Perhaps he had resigned himself to his fate. Perhaps he was too single-minded to see how dire the situation had become. All the same, Franklin Anderson was buried in an unmarked grave in Golgotha. If anyone noticed his disappearance, they were sure wise enough not to notice it out loud, and we made sure of that. Defiant until the very end. How sad. Cool. So that's all done. I can do that one too. There you go. Lose some more research speed, but whatever. Expansion? A show of force. Oh, we can straight up annex them. That'd be really cool. Drive all the Yakuza? Break the tribals? Let's come back over here and do this one, then. Stage raider attacks. Ah, calling in favors, yes. Send us spies. I mean, we could do that, but it doesn't really matter too much right now. We're doing quite well, I'd say. Except we don't have any vertebrates. Hmm. Treasure trove. Oh, look at that. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Nice. 25 more army XP is actually really good as well. Crowd control, support equipment. Definitely get some anti tank here. There you go. We might really, 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 really need that later on. Um, yeah, really not too bad. Not too bad. We just need more enclave power armor, which makes sense. Uh, we can't go to here. We need more than 50% war support. I do want to go to the Vault City, but at least for this one, let's go to that one for now. That gives a few more factories. We have the PP for it. You know, it's great. We'll even make an intelligence agency. Sneaky dudes. This seems the most American thing here, so I'll go with that one. Crack the code. Nice. Nothing on the right. Not too much on the left either right now. I would like. I would like to do a show of force. So that we can start coring everything here. A show of force. Vault City must be ours. An overwhelming amount of force should bring the city under our control with minimal ca damage to its precious facilities and citizens. We go do that too. That's not bad. Send out spies. We could do that. Smoke signals are nice. Grab some of this as well. But we, hmm, hmm. What I'm thinking, I love more civvies. But what we could really do, as military industrial complex, we need the arms workshops now. Although our economists urge a focus on economic development in a new Reno, and economy isn't much use as the city is sacked by the NCR because we didn't make enough guns. But if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. I. That's only two civvies too, and I'd rather get three millies right now because we, as you can see, need one. Two, three, and gunships, but especially transports. Very nice. Um, supporting units now. Marching fire. I love the marching fire. Sneaky dudes are very nice. Now we have caps to do stuff with. Bribe officials. Caps economy of 200 some, not bad. And military industrial complex. Refugees. We've assimilated 322 so far. And zero have been expelled. Go figure. 7%, not too worried about that. So no spies will do that eventually. Um, other than that, we're doing really, really, really quite well, I'd say. I mean, obviously, I'm not doing this perfectly. I could be doing it probably even better, but... Oh, well. I kind of want them to attack us so we can dream of manpower and stuff, but whatever. Mm, we should probably go to war with them now, probably, actually. Mm, yeah, we've got a while. Let's go to war with them. Oh, unless we need more war support. Do we need more? No, we don't. So what if you guys just hang back for now? Like, hang out here. Will they attack us at all? That's kind of disappointing. Okay, maybe not. Alright, well, let's go here. Bee. There we go. See what you can do. They can't pierce us, and we can, we can pierce them. Pretty nice. Oh, look at that. You know what? We got someone here. Leslie Wade? Why not? You might as well do this and help uproot some entrenchment then. Yay! Former department. The art of haggling. Very good, very good. Help them out, guys. Help them out. There you go. Three divisions in circle. Not bad. You guys want to go in? Don't worry about that yet. Automation. Very nice. And they died. As they should. Beautiful. Alright, pretty good guys, and you guys next go here. Bing bong. Get that one started. At least we got some conflict in, the, in our first episode here. I much like it when we have a lot of conflict. There you go. Good luck. And now they should be completely encircled. Give it just one moment here. 
And they will be bye bye. Good. Mm, oh, purge opposition. Oh, I forgot about that one. There are many in our midst who do not share a vision for the future, but they must be dealt with. And Borsi retires, and so we can remove political infighting, which would be very, very good. Give it more political power, organization, recovery, stability. I guess I have to get rid of, you know. All of these debuffs are just not good to have. Goodbye. Cool. I'm mean, gonna enjoy our time doing this, so. Go on in. So we can see what's more guys, too. There you go. Pretty easy. And there you go. Not bad. And it's on, too. Over random, fall of all city. They can't say much more. Beautiful. Not too shabby. Over random, more guys. We've lost three guys versus 1,300. Not bad. I'd say that's pretty good. Anything else? Span out spies. Vault City University. Vault City is the most developed city in the Waste, and home to many of the right sort of people. We can build a center of higher learning to both educate the Wastelanders and persuade them to support the American Dream, if only we could think of a mascot. We could do that. I kind of want to wait first, because I think we're going to need the actual legitimacy later on. We're going to be losing, I think, quite a bit of it later on, so I want to wait for it, probably. Probably. I don't exactly remember, but purging the opposition would be good. And then our new city. There were enough disaffected elements in Vault City that we've been able to secure their loyalty. This is the second city of the reunited states. Not bad. We, of course, need more power armor, but grabbing these factors would be very, very helpful. So do we have one on everything? Um, no. So we just go to the top first, and we'll do like five. There you go. Something like that. Makes it easy. Down Mexico way. I remember this one. Mr. President, before the Great War, America's reconstruction forces in Mexico operated under the aid of a powerful AI known as Tlaloc. Although, sadly, the AI has never accepted or claimed to be the legitimate U.S. authority, doubtlessly due to a programming error. Tlaloc has lately broadcast a signal suggesting he's malfunctioning. Perhaps we should explore this. One tool that would be invaluable is understanding just how Tlaloc's robots keep going without running out of fuel immediately. Is he not federal property? Now, I remember doing this last time. It was a pain in the butt whenever we had to go down to Mexico because it was like the Legion and Mexico United or something like that. I don't exactly remember, but they by doing this, they get very extremely strong. But let's, let's sleeping gods die. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need to hurt them right now too much. Hurt them, but do it in a way that it feels good. Hmm. Does that make sense? Don't question it. Ah, the opposition. Hey, great. Watch out for spies. You never know. There's going to be a lot of spies around here, probably. How about... Oh, we can actually... Wow, we can actually upgrade this. Well, have we got the PP for it. Why not? Get more money. Lannis' stuff is gone. Cool. Ah, new city. Right? Yay. 60%? Oh, 55%. Well, we lost some people here. So now this is going... Still up. Okay, it's not bad. At least it's still going down. Not too bad. And we got rid of that one guy, so... Okay, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. This is not looking good for us, but whatever. Enclave Academy would be actually pretty good to do, but whatever. Um, Loyal officers? Wouldn't be bad. I don't want to hurt PP cost right now. Can wait. The anti-integration faction? The peers are no more, but that does not mean every member of the reformer faction is an unconditional lover of Wastelanders. Many hold the opinion that while there are certainly no purists, the Wastelanders should be kept at a safe arm's length. <clears throat> From the pure stock humans of the Enclave. For them, there can be no integration, only the ruling of one class by the genetic betters. Many ex purists and reformer moderates have gone over to this new faction in our government. How should we approach this new divide? The elite party will now be called the Anti Integration Party. A valuable point of view. Two steps forward, one step back. Um, I don't want to hurt ourselves with stability, so that's fine. Get more stability. We'll crush them anyway, so. Not too bad. Followed up with the Gecko Power Plant? Yeah, why not? Vault City and Gitko could not cooperate, meaning their power supply was a fraction of what it could be. Now that we've united them, aren't we all better off? Hey, Marching Fire, very good. Thank you, hit and run. Oh, since we're here, let's leave that one anyways. And send out Spies, Vault City University, we can wait. Let's do this one, get more daily army XP gain. Ooh, for 20 days, though? 20 days, it's only like 10 army XP. Hmm. Is that worth it? I guess. What else are we going to spend it on, I guess? 
accept upgrades. We can do the mutant question next too, so that'll be good. And get some more output. We really need to be training more divisions, but we don't have that many more, honestly, to begin with, so there you go. Because I want to be able to core stuff as fast as possible, building or rebuild the power grid. Gaining popular support through rule of law and democracy is nice, but ensuring an adequate power supply will show that our enemies have always been in the dark. So now we can build civilian power grids, allow them to build this, connecting the local populations to your power grid. So we should be great. The League of Citizens. As it turns out, many wastelanders have their own views of ghouls, mutants, and primitives. First citizen Lynette of Alt City has joined ranks with many enclave moderates who think that civilized wastelanders are real Americans, but that tribals need a firm guiding hand and mutants and ghouls need a plasma blast. Too many. Vault City is a model town, peaceful and prosperous, and the comparison to the riffraff of Nerino or Shady Sands only bolsters their views. Lynette has League of Citizens promising to rebuild all of America in Vault City's image. Two steps forward, one step back. I like that one to get more legitimacy. Publicly denounce this new party and their ideals. She has something of a point. Now let's go forward together. We hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So we don't lose stability there. Nice. Enclave defector locked to the Legion. Although we took away power, we took power with a promise to not purge our political enemies. Like most politicians, we fall short of our promises. Whoopsie. While some purists fled east of Chicago or Raven Rock, some enclave loyals who like Wastelander Americans personally but doubt our cause have sold their services to the Legion. The dudes took some suits of power armor, plasma guns, and a last supply of FEV on the way out. Apparently Kaiza intends to use them to bring the torch of knowledge to the Wastes in a rather literal fashion. Wait, why did they take the FEV? You know what, that's fine with me. Actually, I don't mind that. Give them the stuff, because they can beat up other people if they really need to much more easily. Even though the whole the Legion Civil War, especially during with Enclave Reborn stuff, it gets quite messy... So, like, if the NCR pieces out with the Legion while the Legion's in a civil war, it just, it just, it just, it's just a mess, man. But maybe it's been fixed. I don't know. I really have no idea. I'm just playing this just because we can. And I like having... Hello. We're getting raided? Wait, what? Wait, why? What? Boys, you best get in there. I forgot about this. Dr. Henry returns. He's an ex-Enclave medical assist scientist. He used to work with the Enclave Cyber Genetic Research Program at the Poseidon Oil Rig and at various other Enclave installations. Later, he deserted the Enclave due to a conflict with another scientist. When he received word of the revival of the Enclave, he was skeptical at first, but once news spread out of our efforts to become a worthy American government, he has left his clinic in order to join the Enclave and get one more grand accomplishment done. Welcome back, Doc, for now. Until we lose this again. Yeah, I think we're going to lose this, because the NCR does get to raid this territory, which really is not very good for us. But we'll build a power grid. Come on, get your butts in there. At least get one division in there first. Come on, get one in there. Get one in there. Get one in there. Come on. Wait, they went to war. They're still... Did they really go to war and they're still doing a border raid? Go, go, go. Do we... Win? Lose? What happened? It's inspirational. Okay. Hey, Nuka Cola Core. Nothing tastes as sweet as a concept of making this stuff again, except Quantum Nuka Cola. Cool. I like that one a lot. Chem Trade. Control of New Reno and Ball City has given the Enclave control over the West pharmaceutical industry. Some suggest that Enclave revival ties with criminal syndicates and seize the waste chemical trade. Others suggest we legalize the chem trade in our territory and take a cut. But some reformers claim we do better to turn out the Mentats and antibiotics instead of jet and trade for our goods. But they're probably hopping in Brahmin crap. Hmm. Legalizing jet is a swing issue for today's youth. Let us heal the nation's wounds. Eh, we'll do that one. Marino returns. Well, or Orion Marino is a soldier that used to serve in the Enclave until the destruction of Navarro. Like many others, he fled south into the NCR. A loyal soldier has never given up on the Enclave's dream of a restored America. When rumors of the Enclave's return reached him, Orion packed his bags and rejoined the Lasallus comrades in arms. Welcome home, soldier. For now. Until he leaves us. Until he thinks he can do better than us. Cool. All right. Nice. Battlefield hierarchy is a very good grab. Let's grab this one next too. Read about the power grid and drive out the Yakuza. Let's get that one ready to go whenever we need it. The Yakuza pretend to be heirs of the Japanese traditions, which would be fine if they weren't on American soil. Battle for Hoover Dam, nice. It's been a while since I've seen that one. That's not too bad. Stage raider attacks. I kind of want to do that one. Set infantry equipment to any raider faction board in the NCR to reduce suspicion by 20, but it's not really mandatory, so. 20, uh, command power, bribe these guys. Not bad. Yeah, getting the power grid done would be super, super important. Oh, yeah, we can do the American Dream. 
Nice. Baseball. The president's decided to revive a pre-war game to boost patriotism and has gone on the radio with a new speech. We've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I'm referring to, of course, our great national pastime, baseball. Now ask yourself this. What if Nevada's gamblers could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from California or Oregon? Put your faith in the enclave of great America and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition. All will live again. This country will live again. Play ball. Back to work. But I do want to get, uh, which one first? The Yakuza one done. Because I want to, when I want to have the war goals ready to go. So whenever we have the next thing where we have to pay to, like, hide from the NCR, we'll do that one as fast as we can. And then, uh, just, like, go to war with everyone else. And then go to war with the NCR. The Legion, oh! Legion overrun the Mojave. The dominant power in the Mojave shifts. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. That's in, that's a little weird. But yeah, I've never, I, I might have seen that happen once or twice. Whenever I tried, I need to play as a Legion again and actually get that one done. And get, was it, Lanius? The Burn Man. Or I guess he's not going to be the Burn Man in this campaign. But the Burn Man in power. Not bad. Drive out the Yakuza. We'll keep going with that stuff because we have enough caps for now, right? 400 caps? Great. And we're also going to go with this one soon. Return of Arche Ganon. Since the Enclave's reforms and integration of American citizens, some of those who fled after the fall of Navarro have returned to us. Among those is the scientist Arke Ganim, the son of an enclave officer who later joined the followers of the apocalypse, inspired by promises of a better life for the peoples of the waste. He's willing to return to the enclave's ranks. I love a man in uniform. Break the tribe. Hard as it may be to believe, these tribals are Americans too, or will be shortly. Civilian power grid, yes please, yes please. Don't worry about that other stuff. Focus on this stuff first. Hey, we got 15 and 2. That's not bad, actually. August 26th, that's not bad. So that's a core of ours, which is nice, 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 nice. This, however, is not. We need one power grid. Compliance more than 0%. Doesn't have resistance. Oh, again, send in police force. Alright. And Gecko, we need the same thing. Actually, can we do this? No occupation. Oh. Can we do pacification at all? That's going to cost so much, but we can actually kind of do it already. Point. Oh. oh let's get some of these guys here, too. There you go. Get two guys doing that. There you go. That should go down, right? 45. Oh, it's still going up. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm, sporadic outposts wouldn't be bad, maybe. But we need to get more compliance. That's the main thing for now. We have an okay amount of compliance. That's actually going up by 0.5 a day. We just need to build this stuff up as fast as possible. Faster for refugee simulation. Send out spies. We already did that one, so... I can save some PP for now, too. After this one, the mutant question. Since the Great War, radiation has led to the creation of ghouls and mutants. Okay, we cause the mutants with FEV, and even the waste centers are not pure humans. We must decide if the American dream applies to them as well. Very good. Scavenger jackpot. A scavenger's returned to Narina with reports of an intact military base we thought lost with an energy weapon stockpile. Traditionally, scavengers have the right to the property they find, but we could use our new police force to seize his fines. On the other hand, if we respect his claim, it will cement our claim to stamp for order and rule of law. We can tax that, right? Laws apply to the people and the government alike. Nice. Stonks. Good. Local workspaces are good. Grab that. And we're missing what? Not even manpower. It's just guns, probably. Yeah. Hopefully we can get this one done faster, faster, faster. Because right now, I mean, the compliance is going up, which will help lower the resistance, too. So we won't need nearly as many guns. 140? All right, whatever. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you very much. And after that, expand the definition of human. That hurts our attack. I don't want to go down the... Uh, I guess we'll have to go rush down here as fast as possible, probably. You know, I do want to do the American Dream. Unlock your building a nation focus tree and gives you the claims of the NCR. Promise is kept. Let us make our vision clear to all those within our borders. Our aim is to revive the U.S. of A. We do not intend to make any compromises with the NCR or anyone else who stands in the way of our destiny. The enclave of old barely recognized the mutant denizens of the wasteland as human. Many among us still don't, desiring clear lines to be drawn between purebred humans and wastelander mutants. The official stance of our government towards our trusted mutated subjects must be made clear to those within and without the enclave. They have a place in America, but not a top. Separate but peaceful. We fight not to have been slave, but a set of country free. Begun integration. Hmm. It's fine. We expanded the definition of human. For now. We might not like it, but for now. Or maybe we do like it. September 11th, huh? It's kind of a ways away. White legs is fine. Oh, look at this. The Army Corps of Engineers. Yes. Oh, that actually opens up. Look at that. That's kind of cool. 
Unassimilated refugees. Well, hey, look at that. 47% legitimacy already. That's not too bad. Non-enclave population, 88%. Only 12% of our population is actually, like, enclave. So after this one, we're going to go ahead and grab this up. We're just going to beeline through these as fast as possible. Integrate officers. By integrating wastelanders into our army, we unite the nation to our flag and give the enemies someone else to shoot at. Not too bad to get more democracy. Uh, you can lose a lot of things here. Yeah, actually getting rid of that stuff. Going through that as fast as possible next will be the most important thing. We, we, we have time to buy off the NCR. And actually, I should play as the NCR someday. Probably whenever they get a rework. God, I don't know when old, when the next Old World Blues update will be. But it seems like it's taking forever. Which is okay. I'd rather it be good than rushed out and not good. But, uh, yeah. Um, play as them. Play as NCR while fighting the Enclave. With Enclave or Born mod. Not, not, not Reno Clay, but like Enclave or Born mod. Like what we're doing now, someday. I would like actually to do that one. Or that type of campaign. Hey, more stability, more war support. All good stuff. 200 more political power. Wow. Very nice. A little bit ahead of time. Grab some more construction speed. That's fine. Integrate the officers. And then integrate politicians. Citizens can stand for office no matter their origin. And as well as integrate scientists. Uh, the recovery since the Great Wars led to the centers of higher learning that produces scientists for the first time in decades. They can serve in that American dream. Which is very nice. But I think I'll end today's episode here. If you enjoyed it, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know if you think of any cool name for our intelligence agency. And I will see you tomorrow as we will go to war with probably the Yakuza Territories, the Antelope Tribes, and probably even the NCR. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous enclave rest of your day.